too many offenses putting belts to your bottom lock in because i'm gonna fix your defensive woes with an in-depth breakdown on the multiple defense playbook by the end of this video you'll have the flexibility to keep your defense dominant and unpredictable against any offense make sure to hit the like button and drive up the traffic the multiple defense is all about giving offenses different looks to think about it's not just changing personnel it's about adjusting your fronts whether even or odd and mixing in nickel and dime packages to best counter the offensive setup Remember that 4-3, 3-4, 4-2-5, 3-3-5, and 2-3-6 are personnel groupings that make up the defense, not necessarily a front. Let's begin with even fronts. An even front typically features four defensive linemen creating a symmetrical lineup across the defensive line. This formation is fundamental in both 4-3 and 4-2-5 defensive schemes. The even front excels in pass rush flexibility and containment. Defensive ends are positioned on the outermost part of the line and the interior linemen are responsible for pressuring the pocket and stopping interior runs. Let's take a look at technique and the physical profiles. Defensive ends usually align in a five technique positioned directly outside the offensive tackles or wider in a seven technique for a focus on pass rushing. In extreme pass rushing situations, you will see a technique called a wide nine. These players typically range from 6'3 to 6'6, weighing between 260 and 280 pounds. They combine speed and power to disrupt the quarterback and seal off the edges against the run. Defensive tackles often align in the three technique on the outside shoulder of the guards to penetrate the backfield or in the one technique, aka a shade, to put internal pressure on the pocket and prevent runs up the middle. These guys are heavier and bulkier, ranging from 290 to 320 pounds, positioned to clog the middle and disrupt the quarterback. These players are the beef of your line and can also be dynamic pass rushers in their own right. Even fronts rely on the defensive line to stop the run and pressure to the quarterback. Each player has a specific gap to defend and can use stunts and shifts to disrupt the offensive line. This provides freedom to create pressure without needing extra players to blitz, making the defense more versatile and problematic. Some drawbacks occur when facing teams that use spread alignments to exploit gaps. If the front four can't win their one-on-one -on -one matchups, it can lead to giving up chunks of yardage. Effectively mastering the even front can turn your defense into a powerhouse, but failure to do so can leave you vulnerable. Switching to an odd front, this alignment usually features three linemen, with the central figure often being the nose tackle positioned directly over the center. This setup is for controlling the core of the offensive line and is primarily used in 3-4 schemes. The nose tackle was the anchor of the odd front. He's tasked with engaging multiple blockers and typically weighs 320 to 360 pounds. Their job is to clog up the middle, preventing direct runs and pressuring the pocket. The defensive ends are positioned outside the guards in a five technique, and these ends are slightly larger than their even front counterparts. They balance duties against the run and the pass. Their assignment to two gap is important as they must control the line and respond to the play's direction. However, some odd fronts allow for slightly smaller personnel and will incorporate one gapping as well. For the sake of education, I'll explain two gapping. This is when linemen are responsible for the gaps on either side of the offense alignment they face. This technique requires the D-line to keep the offense alignment at bay while staying alert to the ball's direction. Also, they need to quickly determine the play direction while disengaging to fill the appropriate gap. While physically demanding, it offers substantial control over multiple running lanes. The odd front's ability to clog up the middle makes it challenging for opponents to run the ball straight at you. Plus, with the front three taking up so much attention in space, it frees up your linebackers to swoop in for tackles or sneak into the backfield on blitzes. But like any strategy, it has its weak spots. Since these three linemen have a lot on their plates, including possibly covering two gaps each, it demands a lot from them physically and mentally. If they don't hold their ground or get tired, gaps can open up quickly and the defense can leak yards. Also, because the odd front relies on the linebackers to handle a lot of the variability in coverage and blitzing, the defense can be exposed if they don't read the play correctly or react quickly enough. Here is where things get fun. If offenses can get creative, why can't defenses? That's why more and more teams are implementing hybrid fronts. A hybrid front in football is a defensive alignment that switches between having three or four down linemen and helps defenses adapt to different offensive schemes. This setup can include heavier sets like a 52 front where outside linebackers effectively become additional pass rushers. Hybrid fronts keep the offense guessing, making it difficult to predict where the defense is attacking. Hybrid fronts call for athletic players who can do multiple things, often called hybrids or tweeners. These versatile players can adapt to various roles, making the defense more unpredictable and dynamic. The most common examples include the Jack, star and a bandit a jackbacker is a defensive end slash linebacker hybrid who can rush the passer set the edge against the run and drop into coverage the jack combines speed and strength to handle multiple responsibilities and can range from 6'3 to 6'5 and weigh anywhere from 250 to 270 pounds 
The star position is interchangeable between linebacker and safety. They must cover receivers, play the run, and blitz effectively. They are most known for being a jack of all trades. These players usually range from 6 feet to 6 foot 3 and 205 to 230 pounds. The bandit is an emerging role in schemes for superior athletes. This position is designated for being a defender who can cover receivers and tight ends as a nickelback, read flow and make tackles as a linebacker, but is also strong and physical enough to play defensive end. The perfect example is former Clemson star Isaiah Simmons. Their build is anywhere from 6'3 to 6'6 six six and weigh 220 to 245 pounds. Hybrid fronts also entail a shift in gap assignments using different alignments like over, under, mint, tight, bare, and others. These shifts confuse blocking assignments and allow the defense to be in a better position to take away something from the offense. The hybrid front's versatility confuses offenses with varied looks and pressures. It can adapt to counter specific offensive strengths, making it a powerful tool for disrupting both run and pass plays. However, the need for highly versatile personnel can be challenging and put a strain on the defense. A reliance on recruiting athletes who are good at multiple things but not an expert at one can leave your defense being more average rather than elite. I know that was a lot of information, but when it comes to multiple defense, everything we covered is needed to make the most out of the playbook. Remember, it's okay to throw in the 4-3 with the 3-4 or even have the 3-3-5 and the 4-2-5, but you must know that those are personnel groupings. What matters is that you have the correct type of players in those positions, allowing you to run the multiple defense scheme that will stifle the competition. Make sure to try out the multiple defense playbook and let me know your results in the comments. Was it too much of a hassle or did it give you your first goose egg? If you didn't like the scheme, please watch all of my other defensive breakdowns. I'm sure you'll find the perfect one for you. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for my notifications as we accept the challenge of hitting 10,000 subs before the year ends. Catch you guys in the next video. Senpai, out.